Hello everyone, my name is Nick Blackburn, aka The Pain 105, and today I would like to show you the basic steps on how to approach an FOB mission. Today we're going to try our luck on the Mosquito Legacy FOB. As you can see, there are two decks per each platform, and each platform has a security team of level 9. I will currently go for... the medical platform, because I can always use resources plus people who specialize in medicine. Heading to FOB. Due to the fact that most of the platforms have an asphalt top, I will be utilizing a darker color sneaking suit. My gear is also the basic non-lethal tactics equipment. An anti-riot submachine gun, an anti-riot assault rifle, and a tranquilizer sniper rifle. Alright, without further ado, let's commence the mission. Deploying. Successfully sneak your way into the heart of the rival PF's FOB, and you can capture staff from them. I'll be looking forward to meeting the new recruits, boss. Here we go. Alright, I'm on the second deck of the medical platform. I will begin my approach very carefully and cautiously. Most people have the misconception of doing the run and gun method. Some people are able to make it work, but in all honesty I believe it's a failure on their part because this is in fact a stealth game. And you're rewarded very heavily with stuff. Sun will set shortly. The sun's about to set. Welcome to Using an active decoy to draw him out. I am using long range equipment on some of my weapons. It helps me get an accurate headshot. I believe there's still enemies nearby, but I need to approach very carefully. Yeah, there's one right there in the back corner. Come on, buddy. Stick your head out. There we go.
is sometimes comes in a pinch. Subject on board. Leave the rest to us. Roger that. And it has some good resources nearby. Leave the rest to us. Always useful to fault and debt stuff. Development complete. It always helps to pick up an FOB's resources and deliver to your FOB or to your main base. Especially when you're having to go through continuous developments on your mother base and your decoy FOB bases. Alright, this area is tapped, moving forward. Complete. Some of these guys are very effective in combat and in R&D. Be very cautious now. That was my fault. There we go. Decoy and a decoy. And another decoy. There's three more. Sentries on multiple decks. You gotta extract him. CP, this is Zulu 2. Oh, just took somebody away. There's a possible intruder. We gotta investigate. far from the entry point of winning, but I still want to approach this very carefully because we can still go raw. So, let's use the same tactic like we did in the beginning. And since it's in an enclosed area, this might work.
tell by the tone of their voices they're starting to panic. That was hilarious. Never hurts to grab mortars or gun trench replacements. You can always use them on your mother base or your FOB. That's how you infiltrate an FOB. Infiltration successful. Extraction arrived at Mother Base. This is mostly the resources I collected. And then the top corner you see the numbers under the a double plus and the A, those are the enemies that I have fought them. We also get an additional plant materials that we accumulate when we infiltrate. I hope you find this very helpful when you plan on playing this game on the FLB missions. As far as to my knowledge, most of the events happen either monthly or every other monthly. Mm, to my calculations, this would be the third event that has to come since the game's been out. I hope you found this very informative and very helpful. If you happen to be a fanboy like me, don't be afraid to try your luck on the FOB missions. Later on I will be doing other missions on how to go about certain campaign missions stealthily and how to go about campaign missions in direct assault. Until then, my name is Nick Blackburn, aka the pain 105 don't forget to like favor and just subscribe and I will see you soon bye bye